today on NYSE Floor Talk is Fabian Gerlinghaus. He is the co-founder and CEO at Solaris. Fabian, it is wonderful to see you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk again. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Judy. All right, and you have exciting news to share. Congratulations are in order. You have a $380 million collaboration with Bristol Myers Squibb. So tell me, what are the terms of the deal? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is a global capacity reservation and supply agreement for the manufacturing of cell therapies uh, in a transaction valued up to $380 million in upfront and milestone based payments. And um, under the terms of this agreement, we're going to take several uh, CAR T cell therapies out of Bristol Myers Squibb's portfolio, automate them, and put them onto our automated high throughput cell therapy manufacturing platform, the Cell Shuttle as well as our automated high throughput work cell for quality control, the cell cube. We're going to be building and uh, reserving for Bristol Myers Squibb's exclusive use, multiple cell shuttles and cell queues. And all of these systems are going to get deployed in Solaris IDMO smart factories in the US, Europe and Asia, specifically Japan. This deal actually helps us accelerate uh, the build out of these IDMO smart factors in the US, Europe and Asia. And then uh, in this way, it's very much uh, aligned with our overarching strategy of building out a global network of IDMO smart factories um, and a good milestone along the way towards meeting the total patient demand for cell therapies in the world. Fabian, remind us, what's the difference between the Solarius IDMO and conventional, CDM conventional CDMOs? Uh, that's a great question. So uh, the deal with uh, BMS is very much a first-in-class pioneering landmark deal because Solaris is uh, the first organization of its kind. We're the first integrated development manufacturing organization or IDMO. Uh, IDMOs have advantages over conventional CDMOs. We can offer 10 times the scalability, meaning we can produce 10 times as many cell therapies with the same number of employees and the same, num the same amount of floor space. And ultimately that's all owed due to the integrated technologies that uh, we've built, designed, invented from the ground up. So the $380 million deal with uh, Bristol Myers Squibb reflects the, the value of our unique offering. Now, following this agreement with BMS, what are the next steps for Solaris in terms of new partnerships? And are, you, are there any similar partnerships that are in the pipeline right now? Absolutely happy to answer that. There is uh, actually multiple pharma companies uh, racing uh, to secure uh, capacity with, with us. Um, if you think about the uh, safety profile, the efficacy profile of uh, cell therapies for the same indication, they're all pretty similar. In other words, um, the cell therapies that are most widely available uh, will be the most uh, widely prescribed. So capacity is king. Um, the pharma companies uh, who can meet patient demand um, will also be the leaders with regard to market share. And uh, in this way, the pharma, uh, well, we're, we're offering at Solaris an unprecedented amount of capacity. So the pharma companies that are working with us early on, they have a tremendous advantage over their competition because they can meet, uh, they can meet patient demand where others cannot, and they can do it so much more profitably. At the same time, there's a bit of a limit with regards to how quickly we can build out new facilities and fill them with cell shuttles and cell queues. And because of that, the pharma companies are competing over a very scarce, very precious uh, resource that uh, we're offering at Solaris. Now, does this deal with BMS have geopolitical significance given the legislative efforts to ban U.S. companies from partnering with several Chinese biotech companies? Uh, it's, a, it's a great question. This particular deal with Bristol Myers Squibb is primarily the result of successful partnerships, successful collaborations that we've had last year uh, that have now come to fruition. And that's led to us deepening and expanding the relationship with, uh, with Bristol. That said, um, the Biosecure Act is certainly a tremendous tailwind for Solaris. Um, Solaris is a high throughput, high tech uh, cell therapy manufacturing partner. And the fact that we're US based, an American company, is uh, certainly a, a real strength in this geopolitical uh, climate. And finally, earlier you mentioned CellQ, and we've seen the launch of this new technology platform last week. So tell me, what is CellQ and why does it matter? Yeah, uh, CellQ is a high throughput work cell for automated uh, cell therapy quality control. And it's really the second piece of, uh, of, of the larger cell therapy puzzle. Um, the reason it matters is that today, 
We've got, we see patients dying on the wait list, even though they're eligible for FDA approved cell therapies. And that's because the entire industry is supply constrained. Why is the industry supply constrained? That's because um, of the very manual, uh, low throughput, unscalable nature of um, cell therapy manufacturing and quality control with manual methods. The cell shuttle, which was our flagship technology, has addressed the uh, cell therapy manufacturing bottleneck, uh, which is half of the puzzle. And now CellQ addresses the bottleneck in cell therapy quality control, which is the second half of the puzzle. So this allows us to really all offer an end-to-end -end solution uh, for, uh, for our customers for cell therapy production, all the way from manufacturing through to quality control. And ultimately, this is what uh, this is the technology um, ecosystem that enables the Solaris IDMO to produce 10 times more cell therapies. All right, well, Fabian, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk, and congratulations again on this partnership with Bristol Myers Squibb. Thank you so much.